I would rather castrate. Ha! Would you rather? Let's answer some questions. I think this is quite straightforward, right? I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this, so I don't think I have to actually explain. You get two statements and you click whether you want or don't want least or most. Okay, so first one. Would you rather be a nerd or be a jock? I would rather be a nerd simply because I'm already kind of a nerd and I don't like jocks. So that's a quite easy one for me yeah okay would you rather have nipples that constantly change colors like a disco light or have nipples like look like oh have nipples that look like diamonds i think i would want nipples that look like diamonds because they will reflect in the light and you will get like little rainbows you know i don't know about you but rainbow nipples look fun let's see if people agree with me okay Okay. Also, I feel like that would just be annoying. You know what I mean? Because you can't cover that up either. Not that it's easy to cover up diamonds. Never mind, that's a useful statement. Would you rather be forced to attend school for your entire life or be forced to marry your distant cousin? I don't think I have a distant cousin. Unless you count my distant cousin. Would that also mean that you would actually not get a good paycheck ever? Or is that not included in the... And also, you know what? I'll marry my cousin and people agree with me. Okay, okay. Listen, I can just divorce them after a while. They do not say that I have to stay in marriage. They also don't say that I have to actually stay acting like I'm in marriage because, you know, people marry for green cards and stuff. People marry a lot of times when they don't actually fucking want to be together, but they still do. That's the reality of it. So, like, I feel like this is a good pick. Would you rather sing everything you say or dance all your movements? See, I'm not good in singing, so I feel like dancing all my movements would be less annoying. Because, like, if you... Yeah. Yeah. What? People don't agree? Listen, you can never have a good conversation while you're singing or a serious conversation or imagine that you're mad and you're just there singing. I would rather be mad and like dance my punch into their face than sing the insults. You know what I mean? Moonwalk everywhere. Nice. <laughs> live in ancient Greece or live in ancient Rome. I know more about ancient Greece, I think, because that's where a lot of philosophers came from that I read. So I'm going to go with ancient Greece, even though they both don't really sound that enticing, you know? Would you rather castrate a lamb using only your teeth or wrestle a territorial eight-foot alligator by diving on its back? So it's between castrating a lamb with your teeth or dying by an alligator because there ain't no way I'm fucking surviving that. Do your teeth have to be attached to your body still? Is the lamb still alive? Would you be kicked in the face? There's a lot of questions that come here. Eight foot alligator. I'm not surviving that. And that feels like because they're going to like go roly roly. So you're not even going to die fast. You're just going to fucking drown and die and fucking get Fuck, not literally. I would rather castrate. Ha! Huh? Would you rather be a graphic designer or be an architect? Graphic designer. I feel like that genuinely just sounds more fun. Also, I get very fucked by like repetitive, very detailed shit. Like, for example, blueprints. I would go insane. Also, I'm so sorry if I sound like, oh my God, my nose is so red. I'm so sorry if the sniffliness of it is not fully edited out. I am having issues with allergies like a motherfucker today. So, you know, gotta deal with that, I guess. Would you rather have your house burned down by a fire breathing dragon or have your house blown down by the big bad wolf? I dragons dragons because like even though it it will be destroyed more by the dragon than by the wolf obviously i would way rather have a dragon be real and like have that actually be a fucking thing that exists and actually have my fucking house fully burned down then have a bad big bad wolf exist because that just you know that's only one i don't care i mm, it's 50 50 which i understand because like you know damage but dragons you know <laughs> yeah here see higher probability of salvaging val valuables i understand that it says that either way you will be eaten wait what where did 
the oh assuming that you end up eaten either way i still stand by the dragons that didn't change dragons are cooler that is what i'm saying i'm giving the dragon a cooked meal at least i love that okay if you could go back in time and sign a declaration of independence would you rather sign your real name or a sign using ridiculous pseudonym. Sign my real name. I, I want to go down in history like that. I just uh, give me put my name there. I put my Twitch tag in there. <laughs> Would you rather become a superhero or become a super villain? Super villains. Why? Why? I mean, okay, hold on. Actually, <laughs> I can't understand where people are coming from, but at the same time, it just feels like the super villains have so much more fun. But they're traumatized, but I relate to that as well. So like <laughs> super villains have cooler guns i agree yep would you rather be black in a white neighborhood or be white in a black neighborhood i would rather be neither um i want to skip this one but i guess the point is not to to skip it it depends whether like our because mm, in the netherlands we don't really have big differentiations from neighborhoods like that so the only thing that comes into my mind and correct me if i'm wrong please if i think of black neighborhood is like ghetto it's like i would not want to live there even though i have not experienced it or seen it or been there in person because i've never been to america but with the white you have a lot of accepting white neighborhoods but i'm i would rather be black in a white neighborhood i think okay people do agree just because i feel like white neighborhoods the way that i'm thinking like ghetto versus not ghetto just as a better fucking circumstance regardless whether you're black or white though obviously you will have to deal with racism and it's hard for me to answer that question i i i'm i don't know what it's like to be black i also don't know what it's like to be black in a white neighborhood and i also don't know how it is to live in a black neighborhood would you rather never be able to leave your native country or never be able to Oh, wait, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. I meant the other way around. No, let me leave the Netherlands, please. I meant to click. I fucking was so sure of it. I ah! you rather have no thumbs or only have thumbs. I would rather only have thumbs, I think. Because without thumbs, you cannot grab anything unless you can make prosthetic thumbs. I think that is out of the fucking grasp of the question. So I would only have thumbs, even though they're ugly. What? 62% of people prefers just not to grab anything. I would be able to give something 10 thumbs up. <laughs> and this is what I said. Well, if you had no thumbs, you could get mechanical ones easy as pie. But at the same time, then you have thumbs again. They're not talking about like not having natural thumbs. They're talking about thumbs in general. Would you rather be Zeus or Poseidon? I think I would rather be Zeus. <laughs> nice just because i do not like the sea i think the sea is scary but like at the same time if i would control the sea then it would therefore not be scary but whatever would you rather have a ford or have a chevy chevy a hundred percent what people have lost their way that'd be so much better would you rather be alexander the great or i do not know either of these people <laughs> would you rather be on the titanic or be hitler's friend depends okay how close of a friend are you with hitler do you know if it would be like someone that's not really your friend but you call them their friend because like you know it's awkward to call them just an acquaintance because they're not really just an acquaintance but they're also not really a friend so you just call them a friend because it's nicer to be friendlier i guess or would should be a very close friend and then again will you know about all this stuff or will you not know about all this stuff and with the titanic are you alone are you with family do your family fucking survive do you survive because like to be honest we've all had friends that didn't turn out to be the way that you wanted it to be so uh oh god i feel like i'm gonna be canceled for this but i oh it's a 50 50 oh shit okay i'm gonna get i'm gonna assume that i am hitler's friends without knowing what he's doing because i would not i would not be friends with someone i know is doing that but at the same time he was very secretive about it so not a lot of people knew that you just kill hitler that's not really the point of being friends i guess but uh would you rather have a monster truck or have chariot with monster trucks are fucking cool would you rather wake up in a bathtub full of ice missing a kidney or waking up in a public bathroom with a handful of singles and a really lazy eye handful of singles oh oh explosion eye sticky ah 
Duh. I feel like whoever voted for this one just did not know what the other one was about or are lying. If you say you want to rather go through the fucking traumatic event of being drugged, being kidnapped, being fucking done surgery on by amateurs, most probably, and then missing a kidney, then getting money, because you get money even, like and get jizzy your eye. Am I the only one that doesn't understand how fucking 36% of the people fucking what? Would you rather poop rainbows or vomit rainbows? Vomit rainbow. How the fuck? I actually don't know why, but I feel like pooping or vomiting rainbows are a very aggressive type of doing that, if you will. And I feel like vomiting doesn't happen as much, you know? So it would be kind of like a party trick in terms of like, if you ever drink too much at a party, you end up throwing up. More people will be concerned by the fact you're vomiting rainbows and the fact that you're actually vomiting itself. Normally, if you vomit at a party, you're like, everyone is like, Ugh. then if you vomit at a party, people will be like, do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. And with pooping, I feel like this is going to be a very unpleasant experience because I feel like rainbows will be kind of liquidy feeling when you poop it. I don't know. Anyway, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for being here. If you had any answers that were very different from mine, please do explain them. I would love to go into a discussion in the comments. And then I'll see you guys for the next video. Please sub and maybe ring the bell if you haven't already. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.